Finally, I'm done with a stupid RB Battles event. Man, that kind of felt like Ready Player One. Interesting, but it's over and I can make my clickbait. Kind of? Hmm, now what? Oh wait, the title. Ready Player Two. Wait, oh no, 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 please, I'll even review Adopt Me and said, come on! Oh well, hello everyone, and welcome to another event review. Somehow you sat through the cringe intro, so welcome, my friend, to my other event review. Today, we will be doing the thankfully much easier event, aka Ready Player 2. Sad thing is, RB Battles is more related to Ready Player 1 than this event, so that's cool. But anyways, this event is kind of interesting with its prizes and objectives, so I might as well start the review and not drag this intro on for too long. So, there are seven games in this event each with their own epic gamer prizes. With matching outfits? Interesting. I will be taking a look at these games in order of the Ready Player 2 hub, from left to right. So yes, the first game in this order is Piggy? You again? With three separate objectives? Damn, Minitune must have been paid a whole $50 more than the rest of the devs since this game has a lot of prizes. Anyways, for this prize, we might have uh, spent a bit more time than normal, since Sir Samuel is dumb, but you have to like click the door a couple times and do an easy puzzle. Since the Roblox community is like five, and congrats, you did it. It shouldn't take you like four hours, right? Second game is Bee Swarm Simulator, the stick bug game. This, this quest didn't take me long. There were no bugs or issues. Nah. So a TV thing over here told you a code, and you had to put it in this field. He ran, then he ran around and more codes, and if you have more than 12 working brain cells, and you searched up how to get how to program basic, and watched the video by Twist and Pandora, you got it. Yay. Third game was bad business. You got it from examining these unicorn things, and then killing zombie. Might sound familiar to another FPS game where you got a prize from killing zombies in an event that starts with Ready Player. Hmm. Fourth game in order is Robloxian High School. Basically, sit in this chair until a key appears, go to the store, and do an easy parkour. I can't stretch this section no matter how hard I try. Fifth game in the order of the Ready Player 2 hub is Shark Bite. This is possibly the most difficult section of this event, so buckle up. You first have to be a shark and collect these red sack things called boys? Smack into a wall and you will see fish. Anyways, then you walk up to a specific painting by Shark by Fan7, great name, and say a certain phrase. Or be like me and do the event after the nerf so you just have to click a button. Congrats! Now you have to find the Titanic and put those boy things into somewhere. And the Titanic will float. Whoa! Now go to fish again. And then go to telescope and point it at the sun. And you reached a boss fight. Oh gosh. My critic senses aren't even tingling, I'm just downright scared and filled with PTSD from another Roblox event. The boss wasn't as hard, but I am just bad at gaming. This boss fight was very annoying since I was lagging pretty hard, and when I was getting bullied, I rage quit Discord and sat in silence for like an hour. This part of the event was pretty difficult. I would have enjoyed it if Luna didn't call me bad every 5 seconds, and Jika did not laugh when I gamer raged at the event being BUGGED! Second to last game was Dungeon Quest. I thought this part was going to be hard, but I did it surprisingly fast. I can't be bothered to explain how to get to this boss fight, so I will just talk about the boss fight. The boss fight itself was not too hard, but not too easy. Well, okay, it was easy, but not like, super easy. This game offered a challenge. I kind of like this segment. Scout hex like event? But how? And finally, vehicle simulator. Find ships and walk. I lagged really hard at this section for some reason, so it took longer than it should have, Poke. And that also means I didn't have fun. Yes. Once you do all of these games, you can go to the hub and get yourself the Meta Shades. Or if you're an American and have a hack client, the Meta Star and or Meta Phones. So that's it. I thought I would drag on for longer, but I don't really have much else to say. Now for what you got. Some of these prizes have some clothing attached to the prize, so that's cool. The Crown of Madness and its outfit looks pretty cool. It's really cool. Book is fine, but no one's gonna wear it. The 1x1x1x1 teapot and outfit also look really cool. I love the design of the reference. Roblox actually remembers POG! 
The, bombast the bombastic bling and outfit are fine. Nothing I would wear, though. The helmet of the Riptide and its outfit are also fine. If you're going for an underwater vibe, this is good for you. The chaotic top hat is probably the best prize in the event. It looks really cool. And the quest for it was pretty good, too. I guess now I see why all the five-year-olds wear this hat. Rick's boombox is okay. I don't really know why I would wear this, but it's good since I see a lot of people with it. And finally, the meta shades. They look pretty good. It's a good grand prize in my opinion. Overall, all the prizes look really good. And I like that, since the main point of the events is probably the prizes. So in conclusion, this event's pretty good. I like the prizes, and I find the fact that they made some of the prizes have outfits is really cool. So yeah, I enjoyed this Roblox event, but I am mad to some of the quests. I like that they made these events, since they have made me more interested in Roblox, so pog. I give this event a 7.5 out of 5 out of 10. At least it's better than the other event. Anyways, I need to speed run making this video, so I will have to go now. Goodbye. Expect another video on Wednesday.